Hello, warring tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play War Groove with me, Blue Inky, though. In our last episode, we made it through the tutorial and met our first couple characters. To be fair, we're probably still in the tutorial, but we're learning as we go. Uh, before we get to our next mission, I just want to do one little thing here and look at our codex and learn a little bit more about our group of heroes. So we have Caesar, or Kaiser, depending on how you want to pronounce things. A magnificent and majestic canine, Caesar leads armies with wordless dignity. His mere presence is enough to inspire and guide troops through the battlefield. That's good enough for now. Apparently he does have inspiration. That's pretty groovy. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's, that's pretty neat. We've also met... Um, well, we haven't really met Valder. We've heard about him a little bit. But we were talking to Ragna last time. So Ragna. Created by Valder to be the ultimate commander, was not terribly impressive so far. Ragna is the patchwork assembly of the best parts of history's greatest warriors. She strives to be the baddest she can be. She's so bad. She is Queen Mercia's dedicated adversary. So I guess she does have maybe a part of a dragon and a part of something and a part of something. She's, she's a Frankenstein monster. Mmm, she's got a cool move. Leaps in the air, deals 65% damage to all units. An area of effect attack. Crazy. Okay, cool, cool. There's lots of other things that we'll learn about later, but that'll be it for now. So, to the next mission. Worst enemies forever. Unhappy with her defeat, Ragna decides to take matters into her own hands. Whatever! So you won. Who even cares? Whatever. Like, I, I don't even care. Yeah. All you did was beat a few lousy, stinking skeletons. Ha <laughs> ha the poor... And slice! Game over. And we win. No. I care. And I won't stop until my kingdom is safe. And your kingdom is ruins. Uh, you tell him, boy. We're enough messing around. I'll crush you! I have to give props to their voice actor. I'd have to go all out there. All right, we got more, uh, like, an actual proper map this time. Ragda has moved into this region. She's even got a stronghold. A stronghold is a really important structure that anchors a faction to a region. To win, we can either defeat the stronghold or Ragna. Ah. I understand. I'm joining the fight personally. Ah, excellent. Look, over there, one of our knights has beaten us here. Knights are strong, fast-moving units. However, they're unable to capture structures. Only infantry and commanders can do that. I'll try to remember. Knights sound great. Let's go. Hold your horses. <laughs> it seems this knight is low on health. Oh, that was a terrible pun, sir. Indeed. That's what reinforcements means. That's, I learned this last time. At the end of last episode, you guys saw me learning. You simply move a unit, a wounded unit, into one of your structures and reinforce. Yeah. Yes, but you pay for it in the house... Loses health. Sadly, structures are unable to regain health through reinforcements. However, their health will gradually be restored, as will that of certain units. All structures regain 10% per turn, and commanders regenerate 5. Okay. So, just want to look at her. I'm not allowed to look at her. Fine. Tutorial. No choice. I have to do it exactly the way the game wants. And I have to spend all my money. <laughs> Excellent! Our knight's back to full health. Yes, yes indeed. <laughs> it does have some drawbacks. First, reinforcing a unit costs amount of gold proportional to its value. And second, the health restored to the unit is taken from the health of the structure. Which is suspicious, but fair enough. Okay, let's go. Get barracks, win game. Yeah, so we need barracks, we need house. They're going to take that house. They So we're going to have three houses and a barracks to their one house, one barracks, and a stronghold. Stronghold does give them money, so it's kind of like a house. And if we take it, we win. House has money, and it can reinforce. And barracks doesn't make any money. Ragna. Four moves. Patchwork general. Commander tier. Okay. Pretty much effective against everything. 
Okay, so how far can we move? We're probably very similar. Heroic Queen of Cherry Stone. I guess she's kind of our mirror. I'm going in. You're my castle now. All right, that should get her close enough to capture a town next turn. And we'll move our little sword dude up. Now, these guys get a critical when they're next to uh, our commander. So we want to keep maybe one or two normal cheap swordsmen around her. And then send pikemen off on their own slowly. Maybe. Maybe. All right, so they get their town. As commanders, you and Ragna are both powerful units. You can easily take down most infantry and enemy structures single-handedly. Make the most of your strength as a commander without risking your neck. Remember, the team that loses their commander loses the I battle. Let you down. Don't get hit. New objective: kill stuff. I like those kinds of commanders. Those kind of those kind of rules. So we could use him to capture. No, nobody on the enemy side is going to be close enough to attack us, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. I'm just going to let... Uh, we could use this. Mercia go forward first. We'll see. We should have a fair... Yeah, we've got a fair bit of money, so we'll be able to start recruiting stuff here right now. I need to remember to actually spend my money. So we can get knights now, who are really fast, and they get a crit... If they attack six spaces away. I wonder if that counts like zigzags or it has to be exactly six tiles away. Probably means that. Some games you could get like charge bonuses by doing kind of a weird serpentine move, but. Ah, uh, we could not afford a ranger. Do we want another swordsman? Okay, hold on. How much money are we making per turn? We're making 300 gold per turn, so if I wanted to save up, we'll have 640 next turn. If I buy a swordsman, I could get a ranger next turn, basically. Yeah, I want a ranger. And we'll have two swordsmen to kind of guard Mercia, and then I bet you this guy will be able to deal with that. So if this guy moves, we can move all the way over there, so if he can get to this tile... It says six tiles away. I might need to move a little bit further back. So, this will be our square. One, two, three, four, five, six, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. So, we'll stand here, and if the skeleton moves up, we'll destroy it. I guess we could try to take over their building first, but I don't want to send the... The knight can't capture anyway. We could destroy their control, but they did have a lot of units to back it up, right? Let's so. see how this works. It did not move the way I thought it might move. Hm. Ragna just recruited a dread spear. It would be prudent to check the spearman's info. I'm trying. Uh, let me direct your attention to the table at the bottom. The table tells us which unit the Spearman is especially effective against. Oh no, they're effective against cavalry, this little icon. Yes, yeah, Spearman will deal extra damage to our knight. Makes sense? Yeah, I don't really recognize them, but I guess... Normal soldiers... Rangers... Knights... Be a healer or a mage... It's hard... Oh, so vulnerable means these units can deal extra damage to it. So, like, archers do really well. Like, there's dual weakness and effectiveness. Interesting. We should make sure not to put our knight in any unnecessary danger. This would be a good time to check the enemy's movement range. Yeah. I was doing that already. It's pretty, pretty clear. By holding the button, blah, blah, blah. Awareness of their range is very important. Yes, I should learn. Alright. So they can move up adjacent to my commander. 
my goal here, what I was thinking, was get... Well, I don't want them to get a... Okay, what I want to have is a couple soldiers who can get crits next turn. And then I was going to start recruiting like a ranger. And that'll give us a lot more firepower through a choke point. Now the knight... I don't know, they didn't, they didn't move up the way I thought they would move up, so... Let me start posturing that maybe we are going to attack up here. Maybe this will convince them to send someone on the north road. Oh, rag now. All right. Interesting. It's interesting. We're just looking at each other. Well, this part of Cherry Stone is more forested than yes. I remember. We may be able to use this to our advantage. Yes, different uh, different terrain has different advantages and disadvantages. You may have noticed that it will slow you down. Yes. I did, I did, and mountains. Mm -hmm. It's hard to climb a mountain. All right, we've talked about this before. Forests give you defense, rivers make you weak, I guess. Click things, click everything. Thanks, Emmerich. Click things. Defense one in the sea. But only if you're air or naval. Ooh, hazard one. So it's like a negative a penalty to defense. That's pretty good to know. Plus four all the way down to negative one. And how much is it? it? Takes three movement to get into a mountain, so it's no joke. One, two, three, four. I wonder I wonder how much damage the soldiers can do with a critical. Like, I'm assuming that we can just, yeah, one-shot them on our own. Oh, well, we'll see if we can kill both of these in one turn. This is a pretty good use of commander, because I won't take any damage. What? It said 100%! You ruined my strategy, game! I had such a good plan! Ugh. <laughs> The choke point did not did not work out for me. I think I'll save up for either another knight or a ranger. I mean, I could start pumping out pikemen. They're not bad, but... The knights would at least let me potentially threaten the northern route quicker. I don't know. We'll move into the forest, I guess. We'll see what happens. And, I mean, I do like the pikemen team, but I think rangers, if I can keep them defended, rangers will be really good. We'll see what happens. Alright, so they rotated here. So they're actually going to do damage to my commander now because of their hacks. I had a really good plan that we wouldn't take any damage. Oh, now they have a ranger, too. Oh. Alright, probably similar, or it's an archer, probably similar style. Probably identical. I mean, I imagine they're basically mirror units here, so. It's fine. Alright, kill them from the mountains. Start moving forward. Nah, useless skeletons! <sighs> If you surrender, we can just end this. We don't have to keep fighting. So we can move up to here safely, but if I go into the forest, the ranger can attack us. I want to see what my commander could do to Ragna. Pretty even. What about, like, what if I sort of send the knight in? Oh, we get stuck. I guess I can't make it through all the forest and get around. That's... Well, they made, they made a good defense point there. Hmm. Not quite going the way I wanted. 
pretty sure that this guy will die. The commander will just move down and kill him. Unless I want to sacrifice uh, my hero. I don't know what to do about this pikeman. I guess I'll bring another ranger in. Uh, the ranger will be able to kill the pikeman easily. The, the horseman is just not really accomplishing much right now. I'd like to be able to use the horseman to kill their archer, but... I mean... Alright, so Regna moves into the field. Probably wipes out my... Uh... Well, good then! That's what happened to me. It's fair is fair. I failed 100%, you fail 100%. Alright, that's good. Oh, they're gonna try to take my town, too. Well, we'll be able to kill them before they can take the town, for sure. Also, if we can defeat Ragna, the battle's over, right? So... Move and attack. 10%, uh, that's not very much. Yeah, this is going to work pretty well. So what we're going to do is pull the soldier back, because he's basically dead. And we'll heal him up next turn. We'll use this guy to get a critical, which isn't great, but it gets some damage dealt to the boss. And then that way she will... Actually, you know what? I missed, I messed up a little bit. I should have done the 10% archer fire first. Probably you can do it from the mountain, actually. Yeah, we should have done this first. I think our uh, our swordsman would have taken a little bit less counter damage. Probably not much, but slightly less. And then... Put myself at a little bit of risk here. But... We're... Like... If Ragna doesn't go heal immediately, she'll Brace be dead yourself. next turn. Pretty sure, like... One more round and she'll be dead. Meanwhile... My knight has done absolutely nothing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what... I can do 50% damage. <laughs> my 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 strategy for my knight did not work out. I don't really want anything like that. I mean, the swordsmen are. I'll recruit a swordsman, I guess. They're fairly quick, so that's that's okay. I should have recruited more swordsmen. I could have had like two swordsmen up here. Probably could have killed this this pikeman, and then my knight could just be charged around back. Can't even do anything. <laughs> this knight has been a complete disaster. Alright, what are you going to do? You're going to attack my... Well, to be fair, she made a smart move by going into the mountains. So you got to give her credit for that. Also, it kind of uh, weakens my archer's ability to take uh, indirect fire and crit. This will mostly be suicide. Mostly. Well, maybe the AI's got some moves after all here. That certainly evens it out. Don't cry. We'll be fine. This pikeman has no chance. Okay, this side's a mess. <laughs> Clearly this has not been done very well. Now, do I have enough strength to, like, move? Yeah, that'll still be a kill. I want the archers closer to be able to help next turn if I need their help, basically. So finish those guys off at full strength. The knight really needs to start doing some work here. This is nuts. Even if we just lure the archer over at next turn or something. Alright, we got backup soldiers coming. Now, I was really hoping that I'd be able to use this. But that's kind of... Like, 11 damage to take 22 back seems like a bad idea. How much damage can we do? 23? We're not going to be able to kill her. 
They might as well put my archer into slightly better, well, slightly weaker defense, to be fair. Lose out a little bit of damage, but we won't take any counters. I don't know if this is much better, but... We're so close to killing her. Can I survive another turn? Well, yeah, I'll take 2% damage. Skeleton can't really hurt me. Archer will probably do 10%. I think this will work out. We won't quite kill her, but... We'll get her low enough that she can't really do any real damage. And she was their biggest damage dealer, so that's like the main thing. It doesn't really matter now, we're pretty much done. You know, maybe if I'd done that extra 3% damage with the Ranger, we would have won right there. Yeah, so I take a tiny bit of damage. Tiny bit of damage. Yeah, I guess to be fair, we do heal 5%, right? So, she'll probably heal 5% as well. She didn't even attack. She knew. She knows she's done. She knows. Still can't actually get the... The Knight! <laughs> has just not been very effective. Maybe I should have tried to attack this town with the knight earlier. I don't know. That's a lot of money for no... Like, I actually re reinforced them for like 500 gold for nothing. Swordsman can't do anything. Yeah. Not the greatest movement strategies. Let's have uh, our hero deal the final blow. It's just you and me now. She made a good uh, she get, made a good move climbing the mountain, but in the end she got sort of isolated from her army and you could focus her down. Ah, oh, you did it! Ah, oh, whew, that was tough. That was a little bit tough. A little bit tough. Ah, oh, I lost. That's impossible. You must have cheated. You cheated, didn't you? No. Uh, how do you cheat at a sword fight? Uh... It seems pretty difficult to have a reasonable conversation with you. So I'm going to go. Yeah! Could just kill her. Finish this off. Uh, Lord Valder! Ragnar. Quiet, Ragnar. You disgrace yourself. <laughs> Stand aside. Let me fix your mess. We only got an A rank because one of our guys died. At least we got three stars. I guess I'll have to replay them at some point and get all S's. Maybe some other time. Not right now, but... I'm sure I could do better. I just, you know... We're still learning the game. Um... What I want to do... We'll do another mission, I guess. Uh, we're early enough that we can do two missions per episode, but let's first have a quick look at Ragna. So we learned about her personal history and ethos. Never ask Ragna if she thinks of Valder as her dad, because she'll punch you. Nonetheless, she shows him filial, filial, f familial kind of devotion. With Ragna... While Magna may not find it particularly easy to express her feelings, they are writ large by her actions. Beyond anything else, she longs to impress her creator and make him proud of her. Unfortunately, her ardent desire is frustrated by two considerations. First, while it's clear that Valder has a great deal of time for his young zombie commander, has a great deal of time, he's not the sort to outwardly express pride or affection, and second, despite her impressive progenitors and impressive zeal, Ragna often falls a little short of the victories she seeks. In fairness to Ragna, it serves on us well to remember that she is only five years old. I guess that is fair. I like these little, you know, backstory tidbits. That's, that's neat. Um, Cherry Stone. A peaceful place where pastoral grasslands give way to lush meadows and cool emerald forests. While the Cherrystone Kingdom is caught between the harsh snowscapes of Felheim to the west and the hazardous wilds of the Gloomlands to the east, the kingdom, for its most part, manages to exist in its own tranquil state. While wary of 
their eastern neighbors, Cherrystone citizens are rarely actually troubled by the Florin, provided humans don't accidentally wander into the Gloomwoods. The same cannot be said of their neighbors to the west, where their border with Felheim requires constant vigilance. Occasionally, over the centuries, leaders, leaderless hordes have stormed the border intent on pillage and plunder. While every few generations, whoever happens to be the current wielder of the Fell Gauntlet decides to make a foray into Cherrystone in a vicious attempt to expand Felheim's borders. Thus, the Cherrystone army is forced to remain on guard at all times. <laughs>